No muscle car show would be complete without a Tiger Gold 65 GTO convertible. And that's this week's Muscle Car of the Week. Pontiac is credited with kind of starting the whole muscle car movement in 1964 when they took the big car 389 engine and put it in the mid-size Le Mans and created the GTO. And that trend continued for 65 as evidenced by this car. It's the Brothers Collection 1965 Tiger Gold Convertible and it's our muscle car of the week. When it came to muscle cars, the Pontiac GTO kind of had it all. Made a ton of power with the 389 cubic inch V8 335 horsepower and 431 foot-pounds of torque. Plus, you could get a three-deuce carburetor set up and a four-speed, so it was definitely a fun car to drive on the drag strip. But these things also had style for miles. And if you take a look at this Tiger Gold convertible, you can see the styling elements of the GTO, the stacked headlights, the recessed grills, uh, the cool hood scoop, the straight-across taillight with the fine detailed ribs, uh, the GTO 6.5 liter badges on the fenders, the Rally 1 wheels. I mean, the car just looked great. And the fact that it performed well, too, made it the total package. Now, it says 6.5 liter on the fender. And I really think that back in 65, not too many people knew what 6.5 liters really meant. The answer is under the hood. It's a 389 cubic inch Pontiac V8. And this one's got the factory four barrel. They made over 11,000 65 GTO convertibles, but it's unknown exactly how many were produced in this very cool tiger gold color. It was a special order color, and it's sometimes called Hearst Gold, but it's known in the Pontiac literature as tiger gold. Uh, they guess around 500 of these were produced, with 100 of them or so being convertibles, which makes our car a pretty rare car. This one sports the full Pontiac Historic Services documentation proving that it came in this color from the factory. And it's got its numbers matching YS code 389 single four barrel engine and the two speed transmission behind that. And it's kind of funny to think about a two speed automatic transmission, but with the 325 rear gear, this car could take you from zero to 125 or so miles per hour and only shift once. The GTO also carried that distinctive styling inside the car. We've always been a big fan of the diagonal slat pleats in the uh, vinyl interior. It's got a center console. All the GTOs had bucket seats, uh, plus the gauge pack and the dash. So even if this wasn't a fast car, it sure was cool to look at. Other options on this particular car include soft ray tinted windows, an AM radio, a dash pad, and it's got power steering and power brakes. The story on the Tiger Gold color is that Pontiac was all about special promotions when it came to marketing the GTO. Uh, Jim Wangers was the advertising guy at Pontiac, very well known. They call him the godfather of the GTO. But he was always uh, trying to place the GTO into public mainstream media. In 64, you had the song Little GTO. In 65, the Tiger Gold versions were available as a special order option, and they were featured in another song. Uh, featuring Count the Tigers, every time the word tiger was mentioned in a song by a band called The Tigers. You could win something when you heard on the radio. By 1966, the Tiger Gold versions were part of a Tom McCann uh, shoe promotion, to where you could go to your local Tom McCann shoe store and buy a pair of GTO shoes. And it turned into a promotion in 1966 with Royal Oak Pontiac and the GTO Tiger giveaway cars. So they were always trying to promote these things. And that's what made the GTO in Tiger Gold a special color. And the story has it that they had some problems with the paint formulation. So the color was discontinued in 1966. It was a two year only color. I don't know, there's other golds that are very similar in the GM line, which didn't have any problems. Maybe the fact that they didn't sell many of these things made them discontinue it, I'm not really sure the actual story. All I know is that if you see a real original Tiger Gold car, it's something special. You can learn more about this GTO on our website at musclecaroftheweek.com, and we're gonna have the tease picture up again on our Facebook page at Muscle Car of the Week, see if you can figure that one out. And of course, check the YouTube channel and subscribe so you never miss an episode of Muscle Car of the Week. Great, now I got little GTO stuck in my head.